I return with another breadboard in your face uh, in the next video. As you can see, I've already put the ADC back on this breadboard and I'm building a DAC here. I'm gonna scale the ADC's input to 10 volts, which I should, oh, look how my commands are. 10 volts, which uh, stretches the 256 different values, eight bit values over a 10 volt range, which actually ends up being um, one volt per octave over 10 octaves, unless I'm doing bad maths again. We don't know, but I'd, I'd just, I need to figure out a couple of things and we'll talk about that in the next one. But right now I'm gonna show you what is in the back of a van that I rented or a, something I was doing yesterday, but I went and, went and got something. So uh, let's let's go into the pitch blackness right now. So it's pitch black, it's also raining. Yeah, a kind fellow by the name of Neil, we actually met at We Are Robots in 2017. He built with his colleague who run a lighting company, built a drinks robot that served drinks. And we got talking, but anyway, we've been speaking over, well, we've been chatting on emails and stuff every so often since then. And I got an email last week uh, with him saying, I mean, his, his father passed away about apparently seven years ago or eight years ago, but his, his mother had, well, had uh, like um, was clearing out and had found a load of uh, electronic components from his dad's old work and it was gonna go it was gonna get um, discarded and stuff but Neil was kind enough to fire us an email and say it's yours if you pick it up so yeah I got I got I got a van full of electronic components old stuff old stuff like oh, let's have a look in here Ooh. This is pretty awesome. I'm very grateful for this. Like a whole, look how many, I mean, how useful this many 7808s are. Is that an 808? And I said to him that I'm gonna try and use them. And if there's any surplus to requirements, I shall pass them on. It's just, a, you know, figuring out what will be. And maybe in a couple of years, they will get passed on. You know, if, if you see anything you might want, well, yeah, I'm gonna get them into their building and we're gonna have a look in all the boxes anyway. Cinema. So uh, Neil, when email, Neil emailed, I think I got the impression there was like a box or two, but he only lived an hour away, so I figured I should go and check it out. But <laughs> lo and behold, it was um, quite a chunk more than I was expecting. His dad got it from an old job, and this was apparently in the skip. A lot of nice, nice parts. There's a fair few of these nice dip switches. These are pretty cool. Got loads of these. That's gonna last a lifetime. <laughs> like I said, I've still got a I don't know how I'm going to figure out what I need and what I don't need because the worst thing would happen is I know like I find the surplus and then don't have it and then require see like oh no I need it ah there's like so many boxes of resistors I'm not sure what they are exactly they're all just metal film resistors there are some carbon ones there are some big boys 2003 247 there's weird codes but it doesn't actually say why does it never say if anybody knows where that's from i'm trying to see i'm trying to make ends of any of it but i mean well it was bought in the year 2000 so they're not super old but i think it's varying quite massively because for instance look at these resistors look at these ridiculous ones apparently the company uh you did a lot of uh, work with high powered switching for various reasons maybe all of this um some high current stuff I'm gonna be here forever looking through this, but maybe you will be interested in this. So maybe I'll just leave this uncut. We shall see. <laughs> Look at that. Just wait a sec, Phyllis. Oh. Oh. Oh, the power. Help. Look at the size of these. What could these be used for? Whoa. Look at just how nice and <laughs> pleasant that is. Even if it's just a. What is it? What? 10,000 UF. 100 volts. Whew. Imagine the LFO that that would make. So what we got in this box? Oh, nothing. That was <laughs> oh, unless it was all a magic trick and it just uh, got like empty boxes. So there was a lot. There's a lot of interesting connections. This is some weird um, looking either BNC, big 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 boy coaxial. I'm not really sure. Just just pretty neat. There are some. Oh, I'm gonna keep on going. Let's just gonna tear this place apart opto electronics let's have a look more connectors we got connectors so let's have a look in this one more connectors don't worry this is um this is the connector box but i don't know what the connectors will be used for uh neil joked about saying 
the um, most uh, fancy patched, fancily patched modular synth. I'll show you in a box. There is a box around here that's got some pretty crazy looking patch cables. We got some, some. Uh, I've never gone, I've never had the pleasure of using these things, but this is pretty cool. But yeah, there's some pretty weird looking things. This looks like maybe part of a, a Rio stat. Oh, <laughs> keep on looking, keep on looking now. Oh, more, more um, connectors. Network connectors. There's a lot of these uh, connections. Never seen them before. Maybe somebody knows what those are. They're like miniature BNC connections with screw screw connectors. Sure. M5 bolts. M5 nuts. Sorry. <laughs> some more, some more resistors. Oh, oh no. Crystal valves. Crystal valves. They look like. They look like polystyrene capacitors, but apparently they're crystal valves. If anybody can tell me what those are, oh, please fire away. Oh yeah, these I saw when we opened them up. Look, look at those. Just look at those. Uh, imagine the sequencer that's going to need these these bulb holders, these panel mount bulb holders. And a nice red one for the clock. Ooh. We're going to go through every single one of these, so bear with me. <laughs> Skip now or forever hold your peace. So here's a reel of, um, it doesn't even say off, just looking quick, like I don't know which number to look at. Uh, R5 on, I, I don't, I'm not sure, just having a look at it off the top of my head. I don't know, I'm usually quite good at that, but it's four band. I'm, I don't even know what four, to how to read four band resistors quite well. There's these, these look like they're actually pressure, pressure, sensors pressure buttons but maybe i'm completely wrong just open it up and there's just mountains of different well yeah different resistors different ooh, different capacitors uh, there was some oh just look at these look how big those are oh it's stuck though After, oh no it isn't what is that what size we've got 500 ohm big boy potentiometer there's plenty of plenty of randomness a peek in this one shall we this one long box so in here there are yeah oh yeah the connections of the 708 808s that we saw in the van and then there's plenty of other different regulators various different regulators and some of them are surface mount some of them aren't what's this lms 1585 Ooh, it's a healthy chunk but sadly some of these things i think they're going to be rather obscure but you just never know. These are those cables that he was talking about, saying they were the most finickety uh, modular synth, the stable. Look at these. These are the, um, so there's the female ends, or the male ends, maybe. And then at the other end, oh no, these are just diddy. Look how diddy those are. Get in focus. Get in focus. Yeah, a whole box. I dare to deep, dig deeper. Oh, the bigger they get, the further, they, the further you go down, the beefier they get. Blimey, that's just... Oh, where am I going to put all of this? Whoa. Yeah, a load of SMD for pick and place. Pretty, pretty cool. And then also, I have no idea what they are. See down here, there's a load of these things. They're like artisan, artisan, artisan. Control, voltage in, sensor, trim, sensor, voltage out. Are these... No, nah, they're not. They're not digital, digital pods. No, I, to be honest, I'm I'm sounding like a right dummy because I haven't got a bleeding clue. Anyway, best not be hasty. That was the pick and place surface mount box. I can't remember what he actually called this enamel wire mm, for like aerials and stuff, or a Tesla coil maybe. Nah, I don't know whether that would work. What are these? What are these? Funky connectors. I haven't got the foggiest, but they're in a nice, nice glass, glass enclosure. Ooh, ooh. Oh no, there's oh, there's loads of things inside them. Nope. I will, I will look at that. Oh no, oh no. Actually, this is one of the last bags that um, I put in the van, and I remember mentioning he. Rem I remember him mentioning that uh, there's a few. Uh, there's a there's a whole box in here. Well, a few boxes of germanium transistors. Yeah, old germaniums. So just, just a bunch of germanium, germanium transistors. Oh yeah, just look at those. 
build so many effect uh, like different fuzz pedals or something i'll have to have a look at those they look like they're actually um being reused they've been removed from circuit boards already 2n3137 and there's various different types of transistors in here rca4409 and the 2n3638 on this stuff bfy19 but there's a whole you know this is one little white box well what's in this one I don't know, but uh, ADCs. Oh yeah, I remember him opening this up and I was like, no way, no way. So let's have a look because so I, I am, I'm a, quite a believer in like, um, I don't know, some weird um, serendipity. They're the ADC 0808 CCN and I will have a look at those on the internet and see if these are any good and potentially maybe better than the ADC 0820. I mean, they, maybe these are older or something because they're 0808 instead of 0820. Who knows? 808. <laughs> and these ones. What are these ones? These are apparently ADCs as well. Oh no! Zilog Z85s. <laughs> Whoa! Cool. That's that's mad. Actually, I know. I think some of these are actually looks like resistor arrays. Ooh. Maybe even capacitor ones as well. CTS 939314. Nice looking. I should probably use these more in my builds. And what is that? 8 bit surface mount dip switches. But still pretty cool. And I could be going through these boxes on their own forever. More, more diodes and. Oh, yeah, both sides. I don't know what I'd use these for, but. Oh, some RAM. What are they? Oh, oh. I'm trying to read it. IRFM360 B712. I guess it's a B712. A four legged. Oh no, three legged. Oh, my, my numbers. Hey, those. I don't know. Maybe some high current transistors or maybe some crystal clocks. Crystal oscillators? I don't know. Oh, loads of um, BNC to phono. No, coaxial to phono. Is it coaxial? Damn it. I'm gonna put this down. I'll let you date you what's in this box, in this bag. There might be some uh, treats at the box. Let's keep the pace up. So we've got a nice little box. We've got some more, more stuff. Oh, more, um, ooh. Push that back in. And we're opening another box. In here, oh, oh blimey. <clears throat> actually, this box seemed quite exciting actually because there was some interesting looking, um, there were some interesting looking DC converters, so I figured there may be some DC to converters that may work quite well for modular power supplies. But there's just so many, and these look crazy. Look how fat those are. Those are the biggest, like, surface mount thingamajiggies. Um, DC to DC power modules. It's like a lot of them in here are 3.3 volts, so might not be useful for modular. We shall see. More stuff, more stuff. Oh, we got some notebooks. Empty, by the way. <laughs> What's that? Phantom power thing? Hmm? Oh yeah, we have some valves. Now these. I, well, I didn't check them fully when I was looking at them. I was a little, little overwhelmed by the amount of boxes, but there's a lot of um, mullards, which is cool. 6AU6s, there's a few of those in here. There's a, I'm not sure whether they function. I don't actually have a valve tester. A Bremar, Brimar CAU6, so these are all 6AU6s. And then goes to here, which I think yeah, a bunch of, oh no, a bunch of Mullard EF91s. Can't remember 100% which the EF91s are, but I have a feeling they might be useful. But they're not as useful as these, which are, yeah, the ECF82s. A bunch of Mullard ECF82s, which I think, um, correct me if I'm wrong, but are these the are these dual dual triodes that are going to be it's cool though. Come on, ooh, nice. Oh, a couple of blown ones. What we got? What we got? Some RCAs. 
Uh, EF85s. I don't know. I don't know. Some there's a fair few mullards though, which is pretty pretty nice. Pretty nice, and some valve sockets. Hmm. Oh, I had to just take a five minute break for a sec. It was all again, oh, pretty, pretty overwhelming. There's a lot to get through and it's gonna take a while to look through it all and figure out what's of use and such. Like um, there's some more surface mount pick and place stuff. It's just a various amounts of resistors, transistors. And um, yeah, it seems like there's quite a good selection of it. So maybe, I don't know. I don't know what to do with the SMD stuff, but you never know. I may take full circle and end up going all the way around. Some more resistors. What have we got on this one? Some more of that wiring. Neil said he actually tried to make some pickups with these wires, but they are shielded in a weird way, which means that there was not enough signal, so they would need to be active. But, uh, more, more, just more of it. Just more stuff. More, just big, big old bags of resistors just just resistors after resistors after resistors scrap I wonder what scrap means it's all scrap so i'm sure they're still of use but maybe it's all mixed up i don't know oh whoa wow that is a lot of stuff in a box Ooh, what could this box be surprise more resistors like I, I don't I have no idea what there's a lot of resistors i use i'm um, i mean maybe because i'm a, i'm i like the idea of re reusing things instead of going and buying the same old metal film resistors maybe i should just get used to using any old resistors because i'll be sorted for a long while i mean look at these they're massive a, a thousand of what exactly they're quite big is that a selection box i think it is I think it's a selection. Yes, that is awesome. And there's loads. It just keeps on coming. More rolls of resistors. And this says, please, please adjust. Oh, so it was from a pick and place, pick and place machine maybe. But a through hole one. A through hole pick and place. That's pretty cool. But it's mad that these was all going to get chucked out. And the fact is, daily, this sort of stuff does get chucked out and if it isn't for people like Neil's dad you know all of it would just be in landfill yep uh, plenty of signal diodes a whole box of them that's gonna last a good long while <laughs> yep, more resistors and now we're on to the last three boxes Ooh. so what's in this top one hmm Oh, that's pretty cool. Not sure what I'm going to use them for though. Ah, yeah. These are the boxes that I'm actually most excited about because in here is, in here is a whole load of logic chips. And CMOS chips are plenty. <laughs> so in here, like, I may as well not open it because it's got all the labels on it. But there is plenty of labels of what is in there did i just see cm no they're all upside down though but we got we got relays seven four oh six nines there's plenty to be of use and one of my plans actually this year at some point was to do a sort of ic challenge where i get a box of random ic's and actually just um just pick one at random and try and do something with it for a video and this this may be the actual uh, things that I pick them from because there's a fair few and I'd, I'd, I don't know the numbers off my heart I don't, I don't know any many of them so it's gonna be interesting to just type in these numbers on the internet and see exactly what what they are like I keep on putting upside down 4078s 4040s 321s 74 366? No idea. It's pretty cool. It keeps on coming. It keeps on coming. There's just loads of them. Loads of them. And then more. Even more. Jeez. I didn't realise there was this much. That's mad. Well, it's going to be some fun breadboarding. 
that's for sure. And it keeps on coming. More and more random chips. It's time to make the Lunetta project, that's for sure. And keep on going. Some nice amp gauges, current gauges. Some wires. Little regulators. take a lifetime. There are a few plans this year that I'm working on, including a potential of trying to figure out the museum of everything else. And this might actually become a, a part of it where people are able to come along and build some stuff. But it's all still quite a bit, very much in the pipe dream. But we shall see, we shall see. And then final box, final box. We got, oh, lo and behold, more stuff. Actually, this got there's some cool stuff in here. Um, here. Right, right here. Some very, 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 very old. <laughs> That's some pretty darn old breadboard right there. That is, feels like the nice old plastic as well. But just the breadboard, oh, that's so cool. What chip is this? What we got? Oh, more analog to digital converters and ADC 0844 CCN. You know what? I'm gonna search that one up tonight. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna put that in my bag. And I'm gonna, that's gonna be my job tonight, and see what that one is. Oh, am I gonna? <gasps> oops, oops, see Daisy. I'm gonna clean that up in a moment. Power transistors. Power transistors. Oh, we've got some six box. More capacitors, and these look like they've been removed from things. Probably on rotten, maybe more big boy capacitors removed from things these look a bit beat probably from I don't know, TV repairs maybe hmm. I don't know I'm pulling that out of my uh, out of my dairy here Ooh. oh that is nice the nice nice copper mesh Ooh, got a couple more boxes pots pots let's have a look at what pots we have Hopefully not the pots and pans but Oh, oh, some pretty cool ones actually. Look at them. Oh yes, I get to look like I have the power, the power controls in Chernobyl on my synth. That is going to be cool. Okay, two more boxes in here, and that's it. Woo! Oh man, yes. They don't make them like they used to. Ah, for sur surge system. In fact, I think I know exactly the person I'm going to give this box to. His name is Charlie, the bad producer. Look at that. That looks to me like that thing that we built in the other breadboard, breadboard in your face video. Um, a R2R uh, ladder, uh, you know, a di that dirty DAC video. That looks very much like it. And this looks just like, um, you know, a... um sort of like an 8-bit signal thing to kind of figure out if it's all doing its job in, in all of its 8-bit glory. Ooh, that is free U. Some free U Eurorack modular synth blanks. Who would have thought? <laughs> I'm joking. I need to figure out where the heck to put them so I can actually get to them reasonably quickly in order for using them when I need to. I'm still up in the air about what I'm going to do with the surface mount stuff because uh, yeah maybe someone's got a good idea of where or what they can go to because i don't know whether i'm going to be using them maybe there's a like a hack space or something but they always have loads of stuff like this so i'm not sure i was away this week working in london i do it every january actually i wear, I, I, just, I write songs with a friend for his albums his name is barnes courtney and we were doing this we're on album four now and um yeah every january it turns out we've seen i seem to do two weeks or make two two weeks or so with him and i've just finished that so now because i got sidetracked with the with this beautiful uh sega mega drive synthesizer i kind of lapsed on getting the filters done for the game boy mega machine so this week's project is to get the filters into the game boy mega machine finally and carry on with that because i finally have a deadline for this it's the same deadline as it was supposed to be last year which is April, the start of April. And if anybody knows why the start of April, well, let's see. The next YouTube video, actually, I'm not sure what. There's, I've had a few funny ideas whilst I was away, so I'm gonna be putting some work into them. And hopefully you'll see the next YouTube video in the next day or two. I'll start working on it tomorrow, probably. And then I'll do the 
breadboard in your face video vlog and whatnot and um yeah anyway have a good time uh, i hope that was of interest because you know you, you hopefully you enjoyed it because now i gotta do some cleaning peace